What is going on to all my movie fans out there and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with a brand new out of theater reaction slash movie review for the brand new murder mystery by the name of A Haunting in Venice. Now this is of course based on the Agatha Christie novels and it brings back Kenneth Branagh as the director as well as him reprising his role as the leading man who's here to solve a murder mystery. Now this time around he has three victims, six suspects, and this might be his most terrifying case to date. Now, before I get into my thoughts and let y'all know if it's worth checking out in theaters, let's start the conversation in the comments below. Let me know if you've read the Agatha Christie novels. If so, which is your favorite? Are you a fan of these films? This is the third film directed and also starring Kenneth Branagh. Are you a fan of them? And are you excited for this new one? And of course, once you've seen A Haunting in Venice, what'd you all think? Pros, cons, and is this is the third one that you've seen, which of the three is your favorite? Let's have some fun conversations in the comments below. I am pre-recording this on a Wednesday as the social media embargo and the review embargo were pretty similar in day. So I said, hell, why not just kill two birds with one stone? I probably should have used the word kill because now I'm a suspect in this murder mystery. But no, in all seriousness, I'm just going to give you my out of theater reaction slash review, give you a score and let you know if it's worth checking out in theaters by the end of this video. So with that, that being said, what did I think about A Haunting in Venice? Well, I'm going to be honest, it was an adequate enough suspenseful whodunit murder mystery that definitely, in my opinion, surpassed the last film, which was Death on the Now. Now, Kenneth Branagh, to me, did a really good job directing this movie. I thought that the script wasn't the best, but he really did pull out some really good moments. I also found the visuals and the set design to be pretty solid. Now, the cast, to me, overall, was just okay. Even though it wasn't as large or didn't have as many noticeable stars as the previous film, I did have some standouts, one of them being Tina Fey. I really had a good time with her character. And the Oscar-winning Michelle Yeoh, who absolutely steals the scenes that she was in, even though she had very limited screen time, and that is a con of mine. She should have been in the film a lot more than when she was. But getting back to my thoughts here, I also personally thought that the film would have definitely benefited if it leaned more into the supernatural haunted house elements, because to me, Kenneth Branagh really captured those moments really well. Now, the whole idea idea of this detective who really bases his philosophy on logic versus the whole supernatural elements that were going on in this film, those elements to me were definitely more interesting and way more compelling than what I found to be a very underwhelming as well as just a rushed murder mystery elements of this film which lacked the emotional depth and really didn't have any meaningful connection. So if you have read the novels, if you've seen these films and particularly directed by Kenneth Branagh, I would say it is definitely a step up from the death on the now it's in line with the first film which was the murder on the orient express this one to me is probably sitting at that number two and maybe depending on the day of the week i am a horror fan and i really did like those more horror thrilling elements so it might just edge out the first one so with that is it worth seeing i don't think it's like i have to see this opening night type of a movie but hey if you're free on a sunday morning or sunday afternoon or like a tuesday matinee Nay, it's worth the price of admission in that sense. And again, if you like these type of movies, you like the Agatha Christie, you like the character, you like the way Kenneth Bond directs, go check it out. So overall, I'm going to give this film a solid three out of five. Again, I'm not saying rushing out to the theaters open a weekend, but it's a, it's a good way to get into the spooky season as far as those haunted house, murder mystery kind of elements of the film I thought should have just lean more into the supernatural but overall a three out of five so hey that's my thoughts on the film again once you've seen it what worked for you what didn't work again did you want more of the supernatural did you find the actual mystery and reveal to be a little bit lackluster like i did or did you love the film or hate the film let's talk about that in the comments below thank you all so much for watching today's out of theater reaction slash movie review and if you had a good time let me know by liking the video sharing the video helping me get to 60,000 subscribers man if else i might have to quit and maybe be a detective and try to find these <laughs> murder mysteries but no definitely help me get to that next milestone of 60,000 subscribers you all are awesome hope you're staying safe as you can see on the screen now consider subscribing to the channel check out my other movie reviews i've done so far this year check out my most recent review and i'll catch you all at the next video